A common question we've been seeing on social media all across the Caribbean is why should we care about the Black Lives Matter movement in America and how can we even help? To answer that question, I feel like we need to first identify the problem. As we've all seen in the news, riots and protests are happening all over America following a recent string of police killings of black people, starting with Ahmaud Arbery while jogging, Breonna Taylor in her home, and George Floyd who died when a police officer knelt on his neck for almost nine minutes. Well after that, the streets were filled, fires burned, and it seemed like America was about to experience a new era of civil unrest. But these problems didn't start in Minneapolis, and they definitely didn't start this month or even this year. For example, the Black Lives Matter hashtag started off in 2013 after the death of Trayvon Martin, and then grew to a national thing in 2014 after the death of Michael Brown in Ferguson and Eric Garner in New York, both leading to widespread protests. And there were protests before that, you think back to LA with the Rodney King riots and then before that the civil rights movement and countless others before that, all fighting the same problem, the systematic racism against black people. Now we Caribbean people have been blessed in a way. For many reasons, we don't feel the same level of oppression here in the Caribbean as in America. I'll probably touch on that in another video, but it seems like our privilege has gotten us to a point where we can no longer empathize with America's problems. I've heard people say that's not my problem, I live in America, then people don't care about me anyway, so that's not my business. But it is your business, and here's why. Injustice cannot exist in a vacuum. More specifically, the problem of systematic racism is a Caribbean problem. When Europe took 15 million people from Africa and scattered them throughout the Americas, most of them ended up here, in the Caribbean. The system which categorized African slaves as non-human was developed specifically for the Caribbean and implemented here. Now in the late 1700s and the early 1800s, while the Caribbean erupted in revolutions, America had its own revolution too. America wanted to free itself from British rule and forge its own path, so they went to war. And they won. They granted themselves a unique opportunity to start a new society founded on the principle of freedom for all. But they chose instead to start this new nation on freedom for all white people and slavery for all black people. But freedom and slavery cannot live together. So a hundred years later there was another war, the Civil War. And after that war they just replaced slavery with Jim Crow. A set of laws that enforced racial segregation and removed political and economic gains made by blacks during the reconstruction period. Those laws were founded on that same principle from all those years and all those miles away that black people were not human and their role was to provide labor in the economy. And what we're seeing today is just a legacy of that principle. So what you have today are two societies intrinsically linked because of their shared history. And in the Caribbean, we've always known, whether it be conscious or subconscious, that what happens in black America is our problem too. For example, Marcus Garvey, he was born and raised in Jamaica, but he felt duty bound in his mission for the betterment of all black people to go into the belly of the beast and face it head on in America. Martin Luther King came to the Caribbean in search of a break from his own fight against racism in America and found the inspiration to keep going in Jamaica's out of many one people lifestyle. So you know it's not a separate thing, the Caribbean has always been a key player in post-colonial progress. We're further along on the emancipation journey so we need to look out for those behind us and support and be examples for those behind us. Apart from all the high philosophy and social reasons, they're also very basic everyday reasons. We in the Caribbean don't only stay in the Caribbean, we vacation in America, some of us live here and work in the states, and our children go to school in America. When you're in the states, the police don't differentiate, they don't say oh this one is from the Caribbean so we have to treat them better, you're just another black person to them. So there are aspects of standing against that are in our own personal interest. So that's the why. As for what you can do, the most important thing is to educate yourself. You can't have these discussions and you can't fight the fight if you don't know what you're fighting for or why you're fighting. So it's very important to educate yourself first and foremost. Secondly, you need to have discussions and conversations with your friends because you're most influential to the people immediately around you. If you have white friends, don't stray away from talking about this because you think it will make them uncomfortable because it should be normal to talk about these things and the only way to make it normal is to talk about these things. Next, you can donate to the many funds supporting the movement and bailing out protesters. You can sign the petitions that are seeking justice and reform. I've put some of those in the description down below. Next, you can support black business owners and black creators. And lastly, we live in an age where everybody has sort of a platform with social media. So you can use your platform to further share the message, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Recently, I've been doing a lot of research on history and how 
it ties into things that are happening now. And I felt like it didn't make any sense doing all of that and then not doing anything with that information. So I decided to make a video like this. And as I research more and learn more, I intend to make more videos like this. So if you like videos like this, or if you scroll through my channel and you like the other kind of videos I make, be sure to subscribe, um, like the video, share it with anyone you feel like it could be useful to.